Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has a vested interest in Norwich City's situation. Despite initial feelings of compassion for his German counterpart, Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel may eventually embrace a clear element of good news which is likely to come with Norwich City's brutal decision to part company with manager Daniel Fark. The Canaries hierarchy made the call shortly after Fark had led the side to their first Premier League win of the season against Brentford on Saturday. Chelsea endured a less than straightforward Saturday afternoon against Burnley, with the Clarets earning a surprise 1-1 draw at Stamford Bridge. The Blues held on to their position at the top of the Premier League table, however, retaining a three-point lead over Manchester City. Meanwhile, after what had been a dismal start to the campaign, even victory over Brentford could not lift Norwich off the foot of the table given it was their first win of the season. With Premier League safety clearly on their mind, the Canaries called it quits on Saturday evening to signal a new beginning. That much could also be true for Chelsea loanee Billy Gilmore, who had broadly been overlooked by Fark during his loan spell at Carrow Road. Just six appearances in all competitions this term is not exactly what Tuchel or the youngster had in mind, with top-level experience undoubtedly high on the Scots' priority list. Against Brentford, the 20-year-old was once again left untouched on the bench to the frustration of Keen Blues fans keeping tabs on Gilmore's progress. The lone star is set to have a fresh chance to make a good first impression on whoever takes Fark's place, so that he can return to Chelsea and hit the ground running next season. The likes of Chris Wilder, John Terry and Lucien Favre are all supposedly in the running for the hot seat, which has barely had a chance to cool down after Fark's dismissal. Gilmore, who is highly rated by the Chelsea faithful, was given his debut by Frank Lampard in 2019 and appeared in the top flight three times last campaign under Tuchel. 